Well, hello there, and welcome back to Illidris Chess number 51, where we're playing against Kanadawa123 from Canada, and we're going for a thousand rating points. Now, I wanted to start learning some theory. Uh. Oh boy, I wanted to start learning some theory after episode number 50, and uh, I've been working on learning the scotch, which I believe should be interesting, and I was hoping I would get the white pieces to perhaps try it out, but it looks like that won't be an option today. So hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. That was kind of a frivolous move. But it seems to be going pretty decently so far. I'll castle, move the queen up, maybe stop that knight from getting anywhere. And the position looks pretty decent. So, going for a thousand should be a fun time. Uh, da, 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 da. I believe I can just take this. <clears throat> I'll just take it back. This looks fine. And I'll definitely trade that. Then start putting some pressure on some pieces. Try to get the other rook involved too, I think. Um, these squares are covered. Obviously trying to go for this pawn right now. I'll defend it like so, but I want to get the queen up. If I put my bishop here, then the knight's trapped. There's also a queen move. Not my favorite, but I will trade here because I can take with the queen instead of this pawn. kanata has got to think about this one. Doesn't want to trade yet. So, I suppose I will move the queen up a bit, still keep it watching that bishop, but I'll let the other rook get in. Hmm. We have to start thinking about where the position's going to go from here. If I take that way, the knight is theoretically still trapped. So if I move my rook up. Oh, no, it's not trapped. I just untrapped it. Well, gosh, that was, um, that was an idea that I had and used. Hmm. I'll just bring the other rook out for now. And maybe force the issue like so. I could always move my queen onto the e-file. Maybe here I'll slide over and threaten that pawn. I could push pawns. Maybe this guy first and then this. I'm not exactly sure how else to make progress in this position. But I think I'll go here because this way I have an opportunity to get in with the queen. Definitely gives me a lot more control over the space. And he moves the king over to stop it. Interesting. Well, if I keep throwing pawns forward, something is bound to happen. So I might want to also slide a rook over this way to protect this one if I want to push to c4. 
Now with that move, I could slide the queen up to hit the rook first. And now there's this move and I cover that square. So it looks pretty good now. But the question is how he's gonna counter attack. Okay, now if I do this, takes takes should be winning. Can't move the king. This move I would take, takes, still better. This looks good. And it's a check so it's forcing. Yeah, queen moves in, take its mate. All right. Let's go. Nice, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.